once upon a time in a faraway land called Washington Heights. Say it so it doesn't disappear. Washington Heights! Lights up on Washington Heights up at the break of day. I wake up and I got this little punk I gotta chase away. Pop the grate at the crack of dawn, sing while I wait down the awning. Hey, y'all, uh, good morning. This is a story of a block that was disappearing. We had to assert our dignity in small ways. Little details that tell the world we are not invisible. Today's all we got, so we cannot stop. This is a block in the heights. I hang my flag up Cheers. Reminds me that the best days of my life. And I built my little dream. The late night she takes bees and the side of the ice. I ain't gonna in Washington Heights. This is the life of what it's like in Washington Heights. What's that, Darren? Hey, John. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm for, all the way from Australia, so it's uh, it's worth getting up in the morning to talk about this film, this early in the morning to talk about this film. Nice. Uh, for starters, how was this experience filming? I know like you've done like Step Up and all that, but what was it like filming a film like this? It was a lot more than I thought. And I had done a lot of, uh, I've done action, I've done uh, concerts, I've done uh, dance movies. But when you add on um, the complexity of lyrics, that is a whole nother thing that I didn't fully understand. And then you have someone like Lin-Manuel Miranda who wrote those lyrics and you better pay attention, <laughs> loaded. Um, it just opened up another door. It just allowed us to use another thing in cinema to yeah. communicate emotions. And, and I couldn't ask for a better partner in Lynn and Kiara who, who helped guide me through that. Yeah, I, I, um, while I was watching it, there was two things that was happening. I, was, I found myself smiling a lot. Good. And when you're, and I just, some of the complexities of some of the shots and the, and the scenes that you had to put together. Now, the one at the, uh, the swimming pool, I watched that and I went, Okay, is any of that like a CGI extension? Or did you really have 500 whatever people there? We really had those they did. We really had those people there. I thought we were going to have to tile people at least. Yeah. We never tiled anybody. A, we didn't have the time. I was going to be like, okay, now we get the other group, put them in, change their costumes, put them in the back. We didn't even have time for that. So what you see is what you get there. That is real water. These are uh, uh, it, it was a it was a whole thing. We had to have lifeguards. Of course, no one, you want nobody to be electrocuted by all the lights. So that's extra. Yeah. Safety. You have kids from five to adults who are 80, 81 years old. Um, you have fire uh, because of the barbecues. So you have a whole fire department there. It's storming, by the way. It's raining. So every hour you're shutting down and bringing, and it's, and it's, and it's thundering. So you're mo moving your equipment yeah. down so it doesn't get like everything that could have uh, occurred, occurred that those couple of days that we shot that. Because, yeah, it was just, it was incredible to watch that sequence. Well, actually, there's a lot of sequences that were incredible to watch, but that one just blew my mind a bit. Oh, cool. Thank um, you. And the cast that you put together for this, obviously, I'm not a Broadway kid. I'm in Australia. I don't know these Broadway singers and all that. And just Googling them and seeing who they are, it's impressive, the cast that was put together. Yeah. They, um, are, they are so much talent. In their like even when, when Mark Antony popped up on the screen, I was like, is that Mark Antony? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that scene used to be longer and he's even better in the longer version. The better, the longer version, you're like, oh my God, why isn't he just doing movies? He is, a, he, he, he is such a good actor. Um, and the short version, he kills it. But that second, yeah. the second half of it is a whole nother thing. Um, we had to cut it because we wanted to keep it a mystery, exactly what he was saying there. But um, I was so impressed by, by him. Everybody. Now with you, because obviously the, the film pretty much follows the same sort of plot as the musical itself, but you've changed a few slight things. Yeah. Was Lynn, were you talking to Lynn like, hey, let's do this, let's do this? Was that real, or did, did he give you some rope to basically do what you needed to do? Um, he definitely gave us rope, but the secret sauce was Kiara because Ki Kiara wrote yeah. the original book with him. So he trusted her. And so I, I would, uh, I would work with her and we would break it over and over. And she, luckily they're not precious, but at yep. the same time they knew what to protect and they gave us enough time and rope to try things. 
they're process yeah, we- they're process people just like me. So we knew we we're not we're not making the movie here. We're exploring what the best version of this movie every time we did a draft. Well, I think the way you did it was really great after reading what what, what the actual musical was. So I think it, it all worked out great. But anyways, I'm getting the wrap. Thank you very much, John. I, I'm sure this is going to go amazing. And I look forward to the next musical you're going to do, which wicked. So wicked. Yes, we're in the middle of that. It's going to be a, a fun, big one. So talk I, about pressure. <laughs> <Here we go. laughs> that, that's a lot of pressure. Thanks, John. Thanks, Thanks team. Appreciate it. Yeah.